Hey, so you probably came to this video because you're trying to determine what is better for yourself. Is it a bridge or an implant? So this is Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics. I'm gonna go through the top reasons you should get a bridge, the top reasons you should get an implant, the pros and cons of each, the pricing, so you can be the best, most informed patient ever. So let's first start off by defining what a bridge actually is. A bridge basically uses two adjacent teeth as anchors for the tooth that's missing. So how it works is you basically need to prepare those two adjacent teeth so you can put a bridge on that tooth. So you have to use adjacent teeth to replace the missing tooth. Contrary to that, what an implant is, is an implant, it really doesn't matter what teeth you have beside it because you're gonna screw an implant into the bone, let that heal up, and then put a crown on top. An implant is made typically of titanium, but the interesting thing between an implant and a bridge is actually the crown or the portion that you see typically is very similar. So it's probably gonna be some version of a porcelain that looks really, really good that matches your teeth pretty much perfectly or as close to perfectly as possible. All right, so you know what a bridge is, you know what an implant is, let's talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages. So the advantage of a bridge is that it's actually very, very quick. Typically it takes two visits, some offices or even potentially one visit, but in, within two visits, you're gonna get your bridge to cover up the space where your teeth are missing. Typically, you're gonna to have to wait a week or two in between that first visit and that second visit so that you can actually get the final restoration. But within that time, you're gonna have something called a temporary bridge that's gonna look probably like 80% as good as your final restoration. So the advantage is it's super, super quick. The other advantage is cost compared to an implant. Typically bridges are gonna be way less expensive than an implant, and majority of the time they're partially at least covered by your insurance. So there's a lot of pros for bridges, but what is the con, what is the disadvantage of a bridge? As I alluded to earlier, the disadvantage of a bridge is you need to prepare the two adjacent teeth. Um, so think about this, what if you have a tooth that's missing right here, and then you have a healthy tooth, healthy tooth. You need to prepare or drill down those teeth in order to get that other tooth in that spot. So that's definitely a disadvantage of a bridge. Let's talk about implants. What is the advantage of an implant? Well, the big, big advantage is if you have a space here, there, wherever, it doesn't really matter. You do not need to prepare the adjacent teeth. So you don't need to mess with the adjacent teeth. So if you have a healthy tooth, healthy tooth, you can just put an implant straight in there, not mess with those healthy teeth, and so that is a huge advantage of implants. What are some disadvantages of implants? Well, the disadvantage is typically, it takes at least a few months to get the final restoration. At most offices, you'll put an implant in, let that heal, or we call it osteointegrate into the bone, and typically that takes around three to six months. Once that time's done and everything is osteointegrated into your bone, then you come back in and you get that final restoration. The other potential disadvantage of implants is they aren't always covered by insurance. Sometimes they're, they aren't always covered by insurances and typically they're a little bit more expensive than bridges. So let's go over the price of a bridge versus an implant. Keep in mind, everything is different depending on where you are, what dentist you go to, what, in, what insurance you have, if you're a cash patient, there's a lot of variables in this, but in general, a bridge can be anywhere between 1,800 to 3,500 to 4,500, depending on the, on the dentist, depending on your area, depending on your insurance. And then the implant, a single implant, typically is gonna be at the minimum 2,500 all the way up to $6,000 per implant. And if you're doing a bridge, you may need more than one implant. So that's where you can see the price difference between a bridge and an implant can get pretty big the more implants you're doing. So you're like, okay, Dr. Nate, I know what an implant is, I know what a bridge is, I know the rough cost of it, what's best for me? So here's some things to consider, and you may or may not be able to do this on your own. You may need the help of a dentist that's gonna help you out with this. But here are some things to consider to let you know which is better for yourself, if it's gonna be a bridge or an implant. Number one, bone level. If your bone is really, really low, you've lost a lot of bone, whether it be vertically, up and down, or width-wise, you can potentially still get an implant, but you're gonna need some more procedures. They're gonna to need to add bone, either height-wise or width-wise, which can be done, but that's gonna prolong the amount of time it takes for you to get that final restoration, because likely you're gonna need time to heal from the bone augmentation. You need to look at the strength of the adjacent teeth. 
If you have a tooth here and a tooth here and both are kind of wiggly, they're not strong, they're potentially really broken down, small roots, a bridge may not be a good option for you because if you put a bridge on wobbly teeth or not strong teeth, that bridge is not gonna last very long. And finances, finances always comes into play whenever you're talking about anything dental related. So if you're concerned with pricing, typically bridge is the better option for yourself. Lastly, you wanna think about aesthetics. Aesthetics is gonna look pretty similar whether you're using a bridge or an implant. Sometimes it can get a little bit better aesthetics with the bridge, but that is definitely something to ask your dentist about. So now you're more educated on the difference between dental implants and a bridge, but it doesn't end here. Click above to learn the five things you should know about dental implants so you can become even more educated on the topic. I'll see you in the next video.